A profile contains a structured set of parameters with predefined values. The parameters are accessible to scripts for protocol simulation through variables defined within scripts or within profiles itself. The profiles are simple editable XML files located in the installation directory, under respective protocol, and its standards directory. The profiles are broadly classified as call control profiles, management profiles, and traffic profiles. MAPS consists of three main profile configurations. Testbed setup profiles, global configuration profiles, and call control profiles. The variables defined to retrieve value from these profiles are broadly classified into global variables and local variables. Let us understand how these variables are used during script execution. During bulk call simulation, few common variables are globally defined, and shared across all the calls, while few other variables are specific to each call. Sources to define global variables are testbed setup and global configuration profiles. The variables defined in testbed cannot be altered once the setup is started. However, the variables defined global configurations allow to alter the parameters even during the test run, without requiring to stop the testbed. Only the parameters that needs to be changed frequently, such as timers, are defined in global profiles. Sources to define local variables are call control profiles and directly within scripts. Apart from call control profiles, there are other user-defined variables within scripts, which are also local variables. Import-export variables used within send and receive commands are also local variables. To understand testbed profiles, let's take an example of ISUP protocol simulation. Shown here is a general SS7 network using ISUP signaling to communicate between two SSPs. To simulate an SSP entity, first step is to configure the SSP entity with point codes, endpoint, link sets, and other relevant parameters. At this point, the simulation entity will be having information of source and destination nodes to exchange information. This configuration becomes base to simulate ISUP signaling. So testbed setup profiles should have these necessary parameters to establish transport between two endpoints. Testbed setup is configured to initialize the network elements with the appropriate protocol stack and the transport layers. On a single interface, it initializes single protocol stack and binds it to appropriate transport layer. Let us now understand how the call control profiles work. Multiple subscribers may be associated with an SSP and these subscribers are configured in call control profiles as shown here. Each subscriber is associated with one profile. These variables are accessible to all scripts locally. The global configuration and testbed setup profiles includes global variables, which are accessible to all call instances. Testbed parameters cannot be altered once the setup is started. Global configuration variables are defined for parameters such as timers, that may need to be changed during test run. For example, to simulate subscribers 1, 2, and 3, MAPS loads call instance 1 with profile 1 parameters, call instance 2 with profile 2 parameters, and call instance 3 with profile 3 parameters respectively. However, all instances use the same ISUP call control script. A call control profile used by one call instance is local to that call instance and not accessible to other instances using same call control script. But the variables defined in testbed configuration and global configuration profiles can be accessed by all the call instances. The testbed parameters are locked for editing and cannot be altered once the setup is started. However, the global profile parameters can be changed during the script execution. The Profile Editor tool within Maps allows you to edit existing profiles, and to create new profiles. The Profile Editor provides Add, Delete, Insert, Properties, Load, Save, and Quick Configuration options. Here, 
we will demonstrate how you can create a new profile, say for example. You want to create a custom traffic profile to suit your test scenario. Click on insert and provide a unique name to the new configuration profile. To this profile, we will now add traffic parameters. Select the root node of tree, click add to open the parameter properties window. A typical traffic profile requires the type of traffic, duration, traffic direction, and options specific to the selected traffic type. Observe how we can define the type of traffic parameter with multiple options such as file, digits, tones, and so on. Define the display name and variable name. The variable name is the actual name used within the script. No spaces or special characters are allowed in the variable name. Define the variable type to enumerated for enabling multiple options. Respective display string and actual value associated with these option also need to be defined. Again, the attached value is what is used within the script to identify the options. For each of these options, we are identifying the enumerated value options as integer type. Among the enumerated options, one of the values can also be set as the default option. Now save this parameter type and observe the entry in the tree. Similarly, proceed to define the parameters for file traffic type. For the file traffic type, we are defining the file name and the duration of file transmission options. For the file name parameter, the variable type is set to character string. For the duration, the variable type is set to integer. In the digits, we are defining the digits type, and value of the digits to be transmitted. The digits type parameters again requires enumerated variable type with values set to DTMF or MF. Similarly, define the actual digits to be transmitted, with variable type set to integer. Finally, the traffic direction parameters are defined, and this also requires enumerated variable type with values set to TX only, RX only, and both TX RX. If you need to modify the values further, Select the nodes under the tree and click on Properties to open the Options window. In summary, every parameter must be defined with a proper control type. The supporting control types are integer, float, hex string, byte string, enumerated, character string, IP address, and file type. Finally, save the configurations with the user-defined profile name. This profile is now ready to be used with testbed setup. Profile editor includes a quick configuration feature to easily create multiple profiles and sequentially update or copy parameter values. Load an existing profile, and, select a user profile from the left pane. Click on the quick configuration option to create multiple profiles. Enter the file name with wildcards. These wildcards gets increment based on the start value and increments values. Click commit and observe the multiple profiles listed in the left pane. Click save to save and replace the original profile. You can also see how easy it is to copy a parameter value across multiple profiles. Select a user profile, and change the value of a parameters as shown here. Now, click quick configuration, and select copy values option. To copy the values to profiles 1 to 10, set the start value and the no of entries accordingly. Click commit and verify the copied value in all the profiles. Similarly, you can update a parameter value across multiple profiles. For example, you may want to sequentially vary the value of the digits. Select a user profile, and update the digits value, click quick configuration and select update values task option. Set the start value to initial value, and the increment value to 1. Click commit and verify the updated values for each profile. The call control profile is now set in the testbed setup configuration as the global user profile which means these profiles will be available to all instances in the call generation once the test bed is started. Select all instances, 
and start the call simulation. The defined traffic options within the profile is applied during the script execution and the traffic actions are performed. Verify the custom file type traffic being transmitted for the specified file transmission duration set in the profile.